never in our wildest dreams we, we would have thought that we would have been winning the championship. Nothing really feels like winning does. <laughs> it's hard to put it into words. Like when you're watching on TV and your favourite driver wins, that's pretty cool. But it's just up another level when you've actually worked on the car. This is what I like about Formula One. It's not just the driver, it's an engineering race. There are stories which a group outperform larger and richer teams in a way that has been our history. I don't think we were considered a threat at the start. When we started our adventure as Renault F1 team, uh, the first two years were really difficult. Ferrari was so dominant you couldn't possibly see anybody else really challenging them for the title. The aerodynamic equation on a Formula One car is huge. It is absolutely the, the primary performance differentiator between cars. And in 2005, Dino Tozo was head of aerodynamics. You know, Dino was the one who told me for the first time that there is no I in team. He was really curious and confident about the possibility of using computer processing power for aerodynamics. In the wind tunnel, you can do only so many tests. With a computer, you could do all those changes. You could test so much more. He believed that in the long term, it would be the right choice. And he was completely right. The 2005 car was a special car. The biggest thing going for that car was its aerodynamics. I remember the first test when uh, Giancarlo had the first go. He, had a, he went out for an installation lap. When he came back, Giancarlo had a big smile on his face when he took the helmet off and he said, Vinciamo il campionato. We are going to win the championship. And then we went on to win the first four or five races of the season. You start feeling in your blood we have not only the dream, but now the 2005 championship, it's a real possibility. Yeah, Dino was diagnosed. And uh, I just don't want to talk about it. Every day he'd come back from chemo and he'd be, he would look so bad, but he'd still be in, he'd still be working. And uh, yeah, heart and soul. We were outperforming where everyone perceives you. But with the resources that we had compared to the resources of you know, the other bigger teams, there's always, they're always going to catch up. The main drive, of course, was, was to win the, win the Constructors' Championship there. And that came down to China. To go into a, a race trying to win a championship is ridiculous. It's the longest race of your life. You know, you, you're fighting against some of the most competitive engineers in the world. You get one shot at it because it's a championship. They ended up pitting before us, which used to be our tactic. And by the time Fernando was back on track after the first pit stop, he was still in front and we knew only a mechanical failure would have robbed us of the title. And this also victory here. It's an amazing moment. It's just, uh, I don't think it can be described. The season means that Renault will win the Constructors' Championship as well. Fernando Alonso, number seven victory of the season. He's won at the start, the middle, and the end of the season. You know, I think if Dino saw that plaque that is outside this building, I think he would be surprised. Because he was like, a person like that, really. Renault, ladies and gentlemen, double world champions, double winners tonight. It was hard, um, but I think credit to the team, because Formula One is obviously a, a team sport. 
there was a real commitment in the team to say, well, you know, if they don't want us to win it, we'll win it. Stereotypes that there is no I in team is visibly true in, in Formula One. And it's everybody is engaged in this choral effort to achieve that. And that includes everybody in the team and includes also our partners that give us technology. Every second matters on the racetrack and even fractions of a second. So we look at all aspects and improve all aspects. It's not just about how much horsepower we can, we can throw at the problem. We have to understand the, what makes a, a real car go around a real racetrack. At the core of it, it's people working hard. We always say, beginning of the season, clean piece of paper, we've got a shot at it, let's go.